Good, good morning, everyone. I think it's uh, just before noon, actually, on this uh, beautiful Wednesday. Here in Ontario, this is the last day for teachers uh, to be in school. They get paroled today for the summertime. Uh, teachers' contracts are coming due for renewal as well, too. In an inflationary environment, that's 8% plus. And teachers haven't had any pay raises in Ontario in many years. Hopefully their union can be a little bit tougher with the government and say, look, we need something different. We need something that's going to work. Um, they fell 8% again behind. So their $100,000 top salary is now suddenly 92000 And actually they fell behind last year. So it's actually 87000 So hopefully teachers can get something to be able to bump them from 87,000 real dollars back up to at least $100,000 of real dollars. They need a massive pay increase for the job that they do and for inflation being soaring where it's at. It's gonna to be tough negotiations this year. So let's talk a little bit about that trip to Toledo yesterday. You'll see on my YouTube channel here, I, I post unboxing Hot Wheels and Matchbox videos as well too. I collect, or not really collect, I kind of deal in Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. I have some amazing collections that I picked up from Toledo yesterday, and uh, they will be posted here soon. Bear with me on that. Um, some amazing early Redline Hot Wheels coming. Uh, be a lot of fun watching those unboxing videos. Um, it's also, that's part of my hobby. It's just part of who I am. Um, I do a lot of appraisal work. Uh, what are things worth? Uh, follow the auctions, all kinds of different things go through my mind every single day here. Um, it's just how I am. It's what I'm driven. It's things that I know, so I stay with the things that I know and create income streams off of them. That way I don't have to go to work for some corporation or something. It's a nice little life. Anyway, um, the Dow today is up 81 points. So what happened yesterday was the data set sucked, to be really honest with you. Uh, because of the activity of the market yesterday in the spreadsheet, we bumped down to still rally mode, but very weak rally mode, which means that we're having to take 32.001 off of our board so far. Unless the data sets today turn around. So we opened up 150 points. We're only up 81 now. We're fading this market. As you can see, here's Apple stock. It's fading on its tr on its chart or its graph. It's hitting lower highs, which is not a good thing, but it is kind of leveling out a little bit. So we'll see what happens with Apple. We'll see what happens with tech. Right now, the Dow is only up 81 points. Tech is flat. The S&P is flat. The data sets that we need today after yesterday's data sets is we need this market to be up 150, 175, 180 points at this point by the close. So we'll see what happens. You know, the uh, Chairman Powell was out talking today. OPEC numbers came out. Oil, for some reason, is getting crushed again. Oxy's back down to $58 a share. Um, I don't understand how we're crushing oil like we are, like a bug. Demand for oil is through the roof. Toronto's uh, traffic is now back pre-COVID levels. That means that the freeways there are jammed up. When I drive around Windsor, it's like, oh my God, look at all these cars. They're all over the place. Realtors have to stop selling houses down here. Hint, hint, Brent. Uh, but anyways, um, the demand for oil is through the roof. Oil inventories actually declined. Saudi Arabia came out today and said, we're pumping as fast as we possibly can, but we're all out. There's nothing left in our trough. Um, OPEC plus countries came out and said, yeah, you know what we're supposed to project, don't even think about it because we can't get any oil out of the ground. It's just not coming. Um, and so at the end of the day, oil becomes a very massive risk. The thing that they're beating oil down with is, oh my gosh, recession's coming. That means that everybody in Toronto is going to stop suddenly driving. That demand for oil is going to dry up, but it doesn't. What doesn't make any sense is that the profits that the oil companies are going to be making when they report this quarter will help them to be able to fund more projects. 
because they'll have more of their own profits because they can't go borrow money to do projects because the government has shut that down. So they have to self-fund every project now. And, you know, Oxy has a little bit of risk because they have a little bit of debt on their books from their past. But Oxy has been benefiting strongly um, by all of the market activity. And they project that within the next two or three quarters, they should have all of that debt stuff paid back off. Um, and that's what you're also doing is you're saying, hey, are these people smart enough to be able to do all of that? Are they on the Dave Ramsey get out of debt uh, program? And Oxy has just tons of cash flow coming in to be able to do all that. So that's all good because they, they borrowed to get to where they're at right now. And they borrowed when interest rates were really, really cheap. And now that interest rates are going up, they're paying that debt off, which perfect. That's what you and I are supposed to be doing too. Why would we penalize the stock for doing that? Uh, Real uh, Realty also announced yesterday, um, and I like Real, I'm, I'm part of Real. Um, they announced yesterday that they signed up a massive group, 24-7 Realty in San Diego. Um, massive volume that that group does. And they also signed up a little bit smaller group over in Orlando. So the stock bumped from you know, $1.20 to $1.50 a share. Um, and the trend for Real is just phenomenal. Because they've added on this revenue source for next quarter now, um, you can expect real. They've been cash flow positive, which is awesome when you're growing a small little fintech business. Um, they've been cash flow positive and look for that to start becoming profitable now, or at least they can continue to keep funding the next steps in their growth pattern. Um, I'm constantly in contact with other realtors saying, hey, you know, here's what the benefits of real actually are for you. Um, and any realtors that I sign up, I end up getting revenue share for them. Whenever they sell a house, I get paid. So wherever that's at, whether it's in the United States or in Canada, it's a wonderful thing to do. It's a wonderful thing to, it's a wonderful place to be. Um, and I've also lowered my total cost of operating tremendously as well too. So real is definitely, um, something to look at, to think about from the concept. You know, I only own a thousand shares myself. Every time I sell a house, I put more money into that. I just sold a house, so there'll be more money going into that. Um, but it is what it is. I'm not going to have all my bags, uh, eggs in one basket, obviously. It's only a 1,000 shares. It's not like it's a lot of money. <laughs> anyway. Um, but it's just nice to have your $1,300 bumped to $1,500 or your $1,200 bumped to $1,500. And today it's bumping to $1,555. So it's always nice to get that little bit of growth in a market that's seemingly pretty flat. So that's all good. Um, the rest of the data sets from today, the, the energy index, of course, is getting crushed. Um, XLP is barely hanging on to its rally. XLK is barely hanging on to its rally. The general market is barely hanging on to its rally. So what we need is we need some better activity coming in today and tomorrow into these number sets. Otherwise, we're back into a flat to a downward sloping market. Um, and then we have to start looking at the VIX, and the VIX is ticked up at just a touch today. Um, it's still under 30 from last time I looked. Um, maybe a trade is to be able to buy some VIX at this point too, um, and just hold it for a little bit of time uh, while we kind of figure out where we're going to next. Um, oil is not good. We know that. Um, the, uh, you know, the financials index is broken down from 32.25, where I made that trade at. Um, and that was really its pivot point trade. Um, all of the sectors have hit their expected price points in the rally. When you look at the spreadsheet, and maybe I'll do a video about that at some point in time, um, but don't expect very much the rest of the way here. Look at flat, flat, flat. And as long as we produce good data sets, then we can bounce up because we're tightening. Oops, where's my fingers at? We are tightening the spring is what we're doing here. Um, and so we'll have to see whether that spring breaks out to the bottom, if the floor gives out on us, or if we bounce up to the top. So that's your midday update for today. Not a whole lot going on, just a little bit of data sets of stuff that I watch, stuff that I pay attention to. And uh, look forward to those unboxing videos coming up with some awesome Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars in case you're even interested in that kind of stuff. Uh, the real estate market here is good. We just had a board meeting today. I was out at 10, 10 o'clock in the morning to go over the board meeting because I am on the board here at the Windsor Real Estate Association. Some really, really great things that the board's working on that are really part of 
Uh, what I'm happy to be part of as well too from the team that we have at the Real Estate Board is awesome. Um, and if you're thinking about moving to Windsor, it's a great time to move to Windsor. We have amazing houses down here that are now suddenly a little bit less expensive with a little bit less competition. And it's time because the weather down here, the sun just came out today. We had a little bit of rain earlier today because we desperately needed it. Um, and the sun's breaking through the clouds here today. It looks like it's a beautiful day. Go enjoy it. Have a great day.